Bloodborne pathogens are carried in the body of an infected person. They can enter the body in three main ways. Infected body fluids may come into contact with a person's mucous membranes, like the eyes or mouth, or they may make contact with broken or damaged skin, or they can enter through accidental punctures by contaminated sharps. Unbroken skin provides a resistant barrier to bloodborne pathogens, but if the skin's broken or damaged, infected blood can enter. For example, pathogens may be transmitted through open sores or cuts, abrasions, acne, even sunburns or blisters. Bloodborne pathogens can also be transmitted through sexual contact or sharing contaminated hypodermic needles, and they can pass from mothers to their babies at or before birth. At work, the most common way employees are infected is through punctures or cuts from contaminated sharps. You may also be exposed to bloodborne pathogens if you come into contact with blood or bodily fluids when administering first aid or responding to an emergency or because of contaminated equipment or surfaces. Plus, if the blood, the biohazardous material, isn't decontaminated and disposed of properly, anyone coming into contact with it after the accident is also at risk. It's also worth noting some ways that HIV doesn't spread. It isn't transmitted through saliva or tears, provided there's no blood in them, and it isn't transmitted by mosquito bites. Understanding the ways bloodborne pathogens can be transmitted can help you take appropriate precautions. Let's take a break here so you can answer a practice question. 